this news broke about a minute or so before I went live, and we talked a little bit about this on the live stream, but I wanted to give you a quick little video that was more uh, focused. Even though I still get so distracted by Deadline's articles because they have the giant text and then it's like a T because then I can crop it so you can actually see me. Hello everyone, I am MechaRandom42, your favorite YouTube harpy. Disney and Sony kicked out Kevin Feige apparently and he will apparently no longer be a part of the MCU for Spider-Man. Like Spider-Man won't be part of the MCU anymore. Not Kevin Feige, he's still over there wokening things up probably that, that's what I assume right because wasn't he the one who insisted on Brie Larson as Captain Marvel after all so maybe this is a, not a terrible idea maybe they're maybe they're jumping ship here before Disney really really fails maybe that's what they're doing maybe they're like nah -uh. Disney you're kind of you're kind of losing a lot of money here you're getting investigated you're having people like blow whistles on you for possibly losing six billion dollars or fudging it right cooking your books maybe we will we, maybe we'll keep him here maybe that's part of it I don't know maybe they just think that hey Andrew the Spider-Verse was a huge success Venom was a huge success Let's let's just keep all of this stuff together, right? Maybe they're maybe they're seeing that. But it's exclusive from Deadline. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige won't produce any further Spider-Man films because of an inability by Disney and Sony Pictures to reach new terms that would have given the former uh, the former a co-financing stake going forward. A dispute that has taken place over the past few months at the top of Disney and Sony essentially nixed Feige and the future involvement of, the, of Marvel from the Spider-Man universe, sources said. You know, maybe we'll get it a little truer to the comics and we won't have, you know, MJ coming in for Mary Jane because whatever rights and deals and whatever, right? Maybe we'll get that. I mean, sure, we'll lose Happy or maybe we'll license him in. Maybe this is not the worst news out there. Maybe since the MCU is going, going woke for Phase 4... And they're clearly not wanting any old fans, you know, by, by putting in, like, the, the Thor Love and Thunder stuff. For example, Black Widow is already probably going to be dead on arrival, in my opinion, based on the whole marketing of that one. You know, you have somebody who does not like superhero movies, who's making the, the Black Widow movie and could can't not get involved in the woke MCU Phase 4. So we know Black Widow is going to go full full woke as well, even though it was already a movie about a strong female character, you didn't need to do anything, right? You just needed to show her being amazing. Maybe this isn't terrible. I mean, I'm not looking forward to Phase 4 or 5 now. I mean... Spider-Man to me, and I've talked a little bit about this on the live stream, Spider-Man to me was the big one for Marvel, right? As a kid growing up, I'm older than I look, kid from the 80s, right? You would see the big comic book superheroes and not really, like really, really little. I didn't know the difference between DC and, and Marvel, right? So, you, you know, Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, those are the big ones that you would, you would see them on Under Roofs. You would see them on, you know, Cupcakes. You would, those were the big superheroes. I think, I think that they know that Spider-Man is a huge draw no matter where you put him. And it's going to really, really hurt Disney. This does not look good for Disney moving forward. For sure. Because Disney, with all of the controversy and now Star Wars and Galaxy's Edge losing money on their, you know, they're losing money on their theme parks. They're losing attendance, rather. But their costs are going up. Or their, their profits. Whatever it is. They're not doing too great. And this is not going to help anything. This comes at the moment when the last two Kevin Feige produced films broke all time records. Avengers Endgame become, became the highest grossing film of all time, and Spider Man Far From Home this week surpassed the James Bond film Skyfall to become the all time highest grossing film for Sony. Well, yes, but how much of that was Kevin Feige and how much, much of that was Spider Man? The fact that, hey, they made a decent Spider Man movie. It wasn't the best. I don't think it, was, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't that bad. I mean, I saw it in the theater. At an early show, I saw it in an early showing, like one fifteen. But yeah, I saw it in the theater, and it was it was fine. I skipped into the Spider Verse because I don't like animation, I don't like blurry stuff, and I don't like kids, I don't like whiny kids. So I'm like, I don't want to watch it. But this one was pretty good. Far From Home was pretty decent. 
Sources said there are two more Spider-Man films in the works that are meant to have director John Watts and Tom Holland front and center, though Watts doesn't have a deal for the next picture. Unless something dramatic happens, Feige won't be the lead creative producer in those pictures. Uh, there's a lot of webbing here, but it all comes down to money, and it's easy to understand why both sides refuse to give ground. Disney asked that the future Spider-Man films be a 50-50 co-financing arrangement between the studios, and there were discussions that might extend to other films in the Spider-Man universe. Uh, Spider-Man, I don't like. I don't like the sound of the Spider-Man universe. Like, like, I mean, yeah, I get it. He's he's like the main character, but if he's part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that would be the Marvel. I don't know. I don't know. It's all weird. I don't like rights issues. Sony turned that offer down flat. Sources said that Sony, led by Rothman, uh, and what, Tony, I don't know how to pronounce that, came back with other configurations, but Disney didn't want to do that. So yeah, this is the updated one where they did come back with some of, with the counter offers. Initially, they reported that they, they walked out, that they, they gave an offer of 50-50 and that Sony walked out. So we, we don't, we don't know what the exact numbers were at this point, but man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man is not going to be the same. We were just, they were just getting them right too. You were just starting to get it. You had two good ones and then he was in Infinity War and that was good because he was there. Civil War. I liked, I liked his part in Civil War. You were just getting good with Spider-Man, right? We were just getting him good. But no, but no, now it's going to change again. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Maybe it won't be terrible because maybe, maybe they're just trying to, trying to get to a lifeboat before Disney sinks. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? I am Mecca Random 42. I will see you on the next video, live stream or wherever. Bye. And I'll link the live stream in the, in the description too, if you want to watch that. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye!